Don't make these three mistakes. Hi folks, this is Brian with another Windy City Cigars video and welcome back to our channel. Today we've got a great video in store for you who are either considering diving into the world of smoking a pipe or are still relatively new to the hobby. We've got some good tips to help you get started on the right foot. So without further ado, let's explore the top three mistakes that many newcomers often make when it comes to smoking a pipe. First, it's all about packing the pipe. Now contrary to what you might think, it's not as simple as just tossing some tobacco into the bowl, giving it a tap, and setting it ablaze. And doing this makes the tobacco far too loose, causing it to burn too fast, and essentially robbing you of your smoking experience. On the other hand, the object is not to see how much tobacco you can jam into the bowl of the, uh, the pipe before you light it. Uh, basically, the best way to have it is to have the tobacco loose on the bottom, a little firm in the middle, and fairly firm on top. Now, a friend of mine who was a pipe smoker uh, used to take some tobacco, he'd drop it in the, uh, the bowl, tap it in with his finger, then he'd pick another pinch, roll it into a little firm ball, medium compression, put that in there, and take another pinch, roll it into another ball, even firmer, and put that on top and tap those together. So you had firm, less firm, and loose on the bottom. That's what you're looking for. Another common misstep an awful lot of new pipe smokers make is using the wrong lighter. Now, a torch lighter is a definite no when it comes to lighting your pipe. These burn very hot, and typically what will happen is it will damage the inside of your bowl, leading to a less than pleasant pipe smoking experience. Instead, pipe smokers recommend using a soft flame, either from a regular Bic lighter or, cue the old school alarm, matches. Now the final error to avoid, and one that's very important, is not mastering the puffing technique. It's essential to keep your pipe from going out for a variety of different reasons, but if you're engaged in a conversation or you're multitasking, you've got different things going on, it's easy to forget that little puff, leading to the need for frequently relighting with the lighter we just discussed. Instead, try establishing a steady rhythm, taking a puff approximately every minute, maybe a little bit more, uh, to keep the tobacco burning consistently. On the other hand, you're not a steam engine. Puffing too quickly is another common pitfall. Overdoing the puffing not only depletes your tobacco stash in no time, but can also make your pipe very, very hot to the point where you can't even hang on to it. So maintain a relaxed and even tempo when you're puffing away. Now, uh, this will take some time and experience because you're on that learning curve, uh, but eventually you'll find your own rhythm. So, there you have it folks, the top three mistakes that one should avoid when getting into pipe smoking. As usual, if you found this video to be helpful, give it a thumbs up and please remember to hit that subscribe button. Thanks very much.